Hey, how's it going champ? Working remotely or remotely working? <laughs> How has that remote work been by the way? Oh, it's been good. Um, well, you gotta come back to the office. I know you've been really productive at home, but you just gotta come back. People have been missing those water cooler conversations that are just really important. You know, with remote work, you lose that human connection. Like, it's so much easier for me to see what you're doing when I can just look over your shoulder. Look, it'll be fun. I'll let you smoke in the bathroom. We're gonna have tequila Tuesdays, whiskey Wednesdays, Xanax Thursdays. It'll be great. I bought a ton of pizzas for the break room. I mean, I left them open and a bunch of animals got into it, but then I thought, petting zoo. We've got squirrels in there. There's pigeons, possum. I saw a couple coyotes hanging outside the office, so I'm gonna leave down a pepperoni trail to get them inside. Oh, your maternity leave. Why don't you just bring the kid to the office? They'll love the petting zoo. Oh, we could put them to work. No, that's not child labor. It'd be baby labor. We really value your mental health during this transition. So that's why I transformed Dave's cubicle into a soundproof scream room. I hate the office. I hate the office. I hate being here, I hate the office. Did you hear that? Okay, I mean, it's not completely soundproof yet, but we're working on it. It's a proof of concept. Gosh, we do so much for you, and if it's not perfect, you don't appreciate it. I captured 13 more animals for the petting zoo today. What have you done for this company? I've been trying to teach the animals how to work, but they are just not getting it. A raise, <laughs> a raise. The only rays around here are gonna be the rays of sunlight beaming down on us when we work on the roof during Martini Mondays. No, people don't need more money. They need more fun. Okay, so Dave falls off the roof on Martini Monday one time, and now you're suddenly concerned about safety. Oh, you're gonna tell HR. Well, I have an infinite human resource on my side, and it's called love. Look, I'm reasonable, I get it. Commuting is a pain in the butt. So that's why I set up bunk beds in the copy room. We could just all stay the night. We never have to leave. Use the netting though, because of the animals. Also, I've taken the liberty of changing your official address to the office. That way you can maintain some of that work from home feel. Look, everyone is shit faced and there are animals everywhere. It is like the perfect office culture. Seriously, I need you back in the office right now. The animals have broken out of the petting zoo. Dave is gone. He's gone. Look, if you can't come in, we're just gonna have to hire a few freelancers. Not like designers or something, just someone with a spear who can get the coyotes. Unsafe? Oh, it's unsafe. Well, someone told me that Tony is coming over to your house to beat you up, so it's actually safer in the office. No, I didn't make that up, it's just what I heard. No, I forgot who told me. Whatever happens, the last thing you should do is work from home. I mean, I'd rather have you do no work in the office than do work at home. The coyotes are at the door. I think this is it for me. The boss goes down with this office. Tell my wife that I... Oh wait, you're quitting? Well, I guess now you have a lot more free time to come into the office. <laughs> I've been trying to teach the animals how to work, but they are just not getting it.